What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and guys, let's go. The supporters are back. They're doing amazing. The subs are up, as usual. The likes are up. Let's go. And guys, another one. Drop 10K. Like the video. Subscribe. Comment. Whatever you want. 10K. Whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Just comment. Like the video. Sub to your boy. Whoever. I'll pick a random guy if the video gets to 40 likes. 40 likes. I'll pick a random guy in the comments for 10K. Run it up, guys. This video is going to be awesome. All the budget beasts. And I'm going to go all over the budget beast, guys. I'm going to start with Catcher. Guys, the support has been unreal. Thank you all. Thank you to my supporters. We're going to start at Catcher. We're going over the best budget players in this one. In the game for cheap, okay? We're going to go, I would say 20k or on. Uh, nah, let's do like 10k or under, okay? Let's get into it. Okay, guys. The Catchers. All right. Let's get into this. Guys, thank you once again for the support. I've been loving it. Okay, so I guess budget-wise, we'll do silver and up, okay? So, the best catcher, in my opinion, budget-wise. Let's see. Hmm, okay. JT Real Muto is very good. I would recommend him, but my favorite, <coughs> my favorite one. And I'm going to tell you why Yadier Molina is my favorite budget catcher. Okay, ready? Catchers. He has awesome fielding and his vision is there. Vision, in my opinion, is the biggest stat for hitters. Because if you use zone, which good players do, the vision is good. That means your zone's bigger, so you have a better chance of making contact. And his contact is very high. Even though he's slow as hell, his vision is unbelievable. His fielding is great. All the, he's really good catcher. This is a catcher you want. You can put him at like what eighth, seventh, whatever. Let's say he's your seventh hitter, a nice contact hitter. Get him on base. He's slow as hell, but it doesn't matter. It's a catcher. There's not a lot of value catchers. That's my top silver one. My top gold one is Wilson Ramos because one, his vision's there, his fueling's decent, but he has contact and power. And yes, this guy, I have him. He is a beast. I highly recommend him. He's literally unbelievable. And also, if you guys have extra, a little extra stubs, I would also recommend JT and Buster. Just because their vision's there and their contact's there. It's awesome. Really good cards. Recommend. Let's get on to first basements. Okay. Let's go to silver over here. Alright, I'm going to give you a top three for silver for first basements, okay? Let's go. Okay. Justin Bourne, no. CJ Krohn. Okay. Jesus Aguilar. If you guys are looking for power, his vision's really low. But if you're looking for a nice, I guess, pitch hitter, Jesus Aguilar is the move. Uh, Carlos Santana's pretty good. Nah, he's all right. What is he? He's still a switch hitter. Pretty good card. I would recommend him. Steve Pierce isn't that bad either. Zimmerman. Zimmerman's not that bad. Belt, not that bad. Hosmer's not. Hosmer's stats are terrible. I would not recommend him. Edwin and Kardashian's stats are very good for power. Nothing really else. Let's see what other silvers. Oh, Reese Hoskins. He's not that budget. He's kind of budget, but he's pretty good for silver. I would recommend the card. My top three and Muncie. Yes. Okay. So my top three for silvers. I would go Reese, Muncy, uh, Munce Daddy, and I'll go Edwin. But Carlos Santana and Jesus are very good as well. Carlos Santana because he's a switch hitter, which is very interesting, and he has good vision. So that's for silver and gold. We'll go quick. Uh, Matt Olson is power against righties. That's all he's got, really. Fielding, who cares, man? Like, I have a great fielders, and they still make errors. Fielding means nothing, literally. It means absolutely nothing. I've came to the conclusion the game is broken, and there's a million errors in this game, so. Rizzo's not, eh, Rizzo. Uh, yeah, I don't really like the gold first basements. Uh, Abreu. I would say the best gold first baseman is Abreu. All right, let's get into second base. Let's go. Silvers, okay. Stalling Castro is terrible. Don't recommend him. Wilmer Flores, no. <sighs> Jerkson's not good. Cesar's not good. Wong is not good. Rugi's okay. Uh, D. Gordon, okay. Perfect leadoff hitter. Got the contact, the speed, the steal, the feelings there, the vision's there. My top silver right here. Villar's too expensive. Okay, yes. McNeil, I just believe McNeil's going to be a gold. He's awesome. Look at that vision. He's good, too. So, my top three for silvers. We got Dozier. Nah. 
I don't I don't think he's that good. Nah. Glaber's pretty good too. I would say Glaber. Okay, so ready? Glaber was like eleven hundred yesterday. His edge is down, but yeah, yeah. I'm picking him up. I'm gonna pick up a couple of these, man. That's a good price for him. So top three for silver. Pedroia is washed. Don't recommend him. Jeanette's good too, but he's out. Uh, Zobris is a switcher, but eh, he's pretty good too. He has vision and contact. That's not bad. He's not fast enough though for a second base, in my opinion. So how can they give Scooter a forty speed? Wow, that's terrible. So Glaber, my number one would go to D Gordon, then Glaber, and then Jeff McNeil. Those are for my silvers. And then golds, we got Ozzy, Cano, Wit. Okay, so yeah, these are honestly those are all good second basemen. They're not expensive. Wit, Ozzy, and Cano. Recommend them. I have I have Cano. He plays amazing for me. Ozzy's good. Vision's there. Contact's good. Speed's good. Cano, okay, his power's low, his vision's there, his contact's there. I'm going to be honest, his fielding's really good too. I'm going to be honest, I hit a lot of home runs with Cano, even though he doesn't have power. I would just swing using X with him. Very good card. He, he hits so many home runs for me. So yeah, those are my top three for that. Third base, let's go. Uh, we got, let's see, Evan Longoria. Not good. This guy is washed. No offense, he's very washed. Ashubu Cabrera, no, no, Eduardo, no, 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 Anuar is out for season, but he's a good card, I would recommend him, even though he's out for season, Travis Shaw, no, no, Carpenter, okay, for, for the silvers are trash in my opinion, uh, nah, Moustakis is pretty good, he's got vision, he's got power, so I would say Moustakis, Shaw, and Anuar, everyone else is straight trash, I'm just saying, literally, Jungho Kane dropped 500. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Wow. How can I forget about this? Mikhail Franco for bronze. He is having a breakout season right now. He was due for it. Endeavors. He could go off soon. But yes, Mikhail Franco. Pick him up. I'm picking him up. He's having a breakout season. This might be his year. I'm excited for him. He's been grinding. Shout out to him. Hope he hope he keeps it up. Honestly, he's a good player. For the golds, I would say Matt Carpenter is definitely the best one. I, Chapman's very good. His feelings there. Nah, his vision. Nah, okay. He's a good fielder. His hitting's not that good. So, only one goal. I mean, Johnson's, Donaldson's okay, but I literally see him going down to a silver. This guy's struggling, man. So, my top goal, I can't even give you a top three. I, okay, Ueno's really good, too. I'll give you a top two. I would say Matt Carpenter and Ueno. Whatever. Any of them are good. I, I like both of them. Oh, uh, let's head on to what is it? Shortstop. Let's go shortstop. Okay, so shortstops, guys. Okay, the shortstops are pretty good. I like them. Ready? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start off with Jose Peraza. He's very good. Very underrated. Contact. The vision's there. The speed's there. Awesome. And I got the man kill. Okay. Mendozi. His stats are not the best. His speed fielding's there. He's okay. He's kind of expensive. Not really that budget. He's budget, but like for 1k, I would not cop him. That's too expensive. Gene Segura's all right. He's pretty good. Not the best leadoff hitter. Maybe a two hitter. As a two hitter, I could see him. So I will go Segura, Peraza, and uh, I don't know. I guess I would just say Peraza and Gene. And I, uh, no, yeah, just Peraza and Gene. I don't really like anyone else. That's what I would say. All right, let's get into the goals. We got Didi, Bogarts. Let's see what we got. Correa. Okay. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Trey Turner's pretty budget. In my opinion, he is the best shortstop here. Just because, I don't know why is it just up. He's out. He is so fast. I use him. He hits home runs. I'm not kidding. He gets on base a lot. He is super, super speed. His fielding is there. My top shortstop on goals. Not the most budget card. Pretty budget though. 3K. It's not a lot of stuff. It's really not. It's really not, guys. So I would go Trey Turner. Story. He's very good too. His vision's not there, but everything else is there. So I will go Trey Turner at first. Story. And then I would say... Hmm, who got the speed? I would say a, a tie at third with Correa and Didi. And Didi's cheaper, so I guess Didi would win it. Okay. That's what I got. Left field, here we go. 
Let's go. Let's head on to it. Let's see. Adam Duval Daddy. This guy has fell off the face of the earth. No, I know for me. Kemp. Kemp, man. I love Kemp. No. Schwarber, pitch hitter. I can see him as a pitch hitter. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing more than that. No. The vision is key. If the guy has no vision, he's not a good card. I'm sorry. You can't hit the ball if he has no vision. Like Chris Davis, man. He is so good. If you could somehow spot his small zone with a, a power hit, it's gone. But, like, his vision is low. I highly recommend the car because it's power, but I just see him as a pitch hitter. I mean, I really just see him as a pitch hitter. He has no vision. All he can do is hit power. That's not good. He's going to strike out a lot. But I guess he's pretty good. Man, I guess, man, I don't like the left fielders. I'm not a fan. They're really not good. Michael Brantley's a good contact hitter, but he doesn't have speed. If you have only contact, unless you're a catcher, speed, speed is a big deal. He doesn't have the speed, and he's not slow, which makes no sense. McCutcheon's pretty good. All around pretty good, I would say. McCutcheon, probably my top silver. So, yeah, McCutcheon, okay, Joey Gallo, but nope, the vision. Look at his vision, because he, he gets strikes out every time. So, yeah, Will Myers is really good. It's all right, man. The, the left fielders are weak for silvers. So, uh, yeah, I would go for the left fielders, McCutcheon, Brantley, and I guess Chris Davis. I'm not a fan of the left fielders at all. Uh, let's go gold, man. I love Okuna, but he's not budget. Okuna is my number one gold, but he's not budget. So, Marcelo Zuna. We got Ben and Teddy, even though his stats are not the best, he's very, very good. Believe me. His car plays amazing. Eddie Rosario's okay. He's not bad either. Ses okay, okay, okay. So my tops. Soto. Soto is unbelievable, guys. Just get Soto. His batting stance is beautiful. He's just awesome. Soto, Cespedes, and whoa, whoa, whoa. What a whoa. That was lag. My bad. Sorry. Cespedes, Soto. And I would say. Benintendi or Ozuna at the third. That's my, that's what I think. All right. We got center fielders. Let's get into this quickly. Abdubal, no, no. Malix, no, 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 no. Ooh, these, these are terrible. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay, NCRA is good. Eaton's good. Okay. Billy Hamilton. Look at those hitting stats. This guy can't even swing. Get him out of here. I mean, how is he still silver? He is literally bad on 200 his whole career. Get out of here. NCRTE, Adam Eaton, and AJ Pollock are my top silvers. They're not even that good. But, you know what? It's better than having a bronze. Those are my top three. Nothing special. But let's get on to the gold. Springer, amazing. Highly recommend. The vision's there. Power, contact, everything. The speed is decent. The fielding is decent. Awesome card for 1,500. Beautiful card. Aaron Hicks, power's there, speed's there, switch hitter, vision's there, fielding's there, arm strength's there, budget car beast, yes. Kiermaier only has fielding. Don't ask you why he's a goal every year. He only can field, nothing else. That is end discussion. So, right now, top three left, I mean center fielders. Why is Starling Marte's stats botched? I don't know. But, okay, I would go Starling Marte. At three, two, two, I would go, no, no, yeah, two, I would go Hicks, one, I'll go Springer, Kane is, oh, Kane's pretty good too, I'll give him a tie at two or three, Kane's very good, if you guys have extra stubs, always pick up these rookie, are these rookie cards, what are these, all-star cards, I guess, breakout cards, all these pre-order cards, pick them up if you guys got the stubs for them, because they're so cheap and they have crazy stats, Okay, let's head into the right fielders, last but not least. So, okay. Number one on my list is Piscotti because he's doing amazing. I would not see, I see him being gold ASAP. He's going to be gold soon. I highly just recommend picking him up. His stats aren't the best, but he's a budget beast because he's going to go up in overall. Hunter Renfro, not bad. Vision's not there. Eh. Conforto, not bad. Vision's not there. The vision is key, guys. Okay, Adam Jones. This guy's going off. Pick him up while his edge is down. This guy's a budget baller. He is going off. He's going to be a gold soon. Honestly, I'm dead ass. He's going to be a gold soon. He's playing amazing. He's playing his heart out. 
Kudos to you. He's going to be a goal soon. Pick him up. He's a budget beast. Chris Chuck, his power's there. Seaman's a pitch hitter. That's it. Avisel Garcia, trash, trash. Uh, he's good for contact. If you need a contact hitter, that's really it. And the vision's there. Good contact hitter. Don't really recommend. Mark Hague is good. Mark Hague is very good contact hitter. Don't know why they made him so slow. Okay. Let's get on to goals. Money Mitch. Budget baller. Gonna literally could be a dime this year. He's so under one of the most underrated players. He's consistently back to 275 plus the last two seasons. Doing amazing this season already. So amazing. Okay, Otani. Otani's vision isn't there. But I played with the card. He is lights out. I've hit so many home runs with him against lefties too. The stats are lying to you because he's a god. Use Otani for golds. But yeah, I'm gonna go over my top three silvers quick. Top three silvers. Adam Jones at one. Two. Mark Hakis and three. I would just give it to Martinez because he got the contact and vision. Okay, Golds. Number one for me is Otani. He's the best one. He's so good. Cruz is number two at 2K. And Jay Bruce got power. Uh, yeah, Blackman at three. Blackman's, nah, Blackman's amazing. I don't know. These are hard to rank. I really think these cards are amazing. Those three right there are unbelievable. Otani, Cruz, and... Blackman Puig's also very good too, but he's suspended, so he doesn't even deserve a shout out. Let's get into the bullpen. I'm just gonna go over this quick. I'm gonna go as quick as possible. The best relief pitcher. Uh, you know what? Actually, no. I'm not even gonna go over the bullpen. I'm just gonna go over hitting. I'll do a bullpen video another day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's really long, but those are my budget ballers. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please be sure to like and subscribe, comment, all that nonsense. You know your boy Bugs posting fire. Tell your friends. 10K in the comments or whatever you want. Whatever whatever you say in the comments, it still counts. So, towards the giveaway for 10K. So, peace out, guys. Stay blessed. I hope you have a great day. More content coming soon on Sunday. Be stu be tu uh, stay tuned for gameplay. But that's it, guys. Peace out. Hey, yo,